Hello everyone, welcome to Pentacle Math Mania. My name is Captainist123 and today we will learn about associating numbers with their word names and word names with their numbers. Let's start out with the basics, shall we? Numbers can be grouped into categories of ones, tens and hundreds. Let's go through an example of this. Can you tell me what the word names for these numbers would be? The first number has no figure under the hundreds column, a two in the tens column, and a seven in the ones column. That means the two in the tens column is two by 10, which is 20, and the seven in the ones column is seven by one, which is seven. 20 plus seven, that's 27. Let's look at the next number. Again, there's no figure in the hundreds column, a four in the tens column, and an eight in the ones column. The four in the tens column represents four multiplied by 10, which is 40, and eight multiplied by one in the ones column is eight. That gives us 40 plus eight, 48. Then lastly, we have zero in the hundreds column, seven in the tens column, and one in the ones column. The seven in the tens column is seven by 10, which is 70, and the one in the ones column is one by one, which is one. 70 plus one is 71. So those three numbers are 27, 48, and 71. Some numbers have their own word names, such as 12, which is a one and a two next to each other. 11, which are two ones next to each other. And then from the teens, we have 13 up to 19. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and 19. So be careful not to mistake how you write these figures as words. When writing the word name of a number, we always start with the number furthest to our left, which is the biggest number. Don't forget, we're looking at the hundreds, tens, and ones columns. Can you figure out these numbers in words by placing the figures in the correct columns? The number in the hundreds column is always placed first when writing out the word name. Let's look at the first example. We have one in the hundreds column, four in the tens column, and three in the ones column. That leaves us with 143. The second example, we have five in the hundreds column, nine in the tens column, and seven in the ones column. That gives us 597. And lastly, we don't have any numbers or any figures in the hundreds column here, but we have an eight in the tens column and a two in the ones column, which gives us 82. So that's 143, 597, and 82. Thank you for visiting Math City today. Try the exercises on pinnacle.com to earn points and win great prizes.